Hello, welcome to the show. What's your name? Jan Scott here. How you doing? Jan Scott. Good. How are you? <laughs> Good. Are you guys actually live hey, on the uh, TV? We're live. Well, not on TV, no. We are live from Boulder, Colorado, where we have no TV. <laughs> in, in your, <laughs> That's the in deal, your yeah. studio. <laughs> yeah, we're in my studio hanging out. Oh yeah. my God, that's, yeah. So you live on the internet? Yeah, we are here with uh, yes, Peter Stewart yeah. from. Hey, uh, you do that too, right? Yeah, so. You do the internet streaming, right? Yeah, uh, we haven't been doing a live show, so this is pretty. This is very exciting. I'm watching you on my computer right now. I thought, oh, cool. That means all over the world. You can, wow, isn't that great? I just saw you. Uh, great show, by the way, on Channel Five out of Denver. Uh, talking a little bit about what's going on in Boulder with their public access. And uh, I applaud uh, your work. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, we have, um, we do Jan Scott Live, janscottlive.com, and then I do a three minute um, blog every week, which we tape. Right now we're shooting it on the uh, downtown Boulder Mall. One of the things that we're, we really love to do is lampoon the Boulder City Council <laughs> and our lack of public access television, which you folks seem to have yeah. <laughs> yeah. put beautifully together in uh, with volunteers in Louisville and Lafayette. So I commend you for that. It's uh, excellent. Yeah. Well, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are both uh, sort of crusaders for the cause. Thank you both for sure. Right. You know, actually, the uh, the FCC laws say that the the City Council can't censor. A public access channel, nor can the uh, cable company, nor can the board of directors of a, of well, a cable, you know, of a, of a public access station. Well, you know, I mean, you're absolutely right there. And in fact, the uh, TCI lawyer told me once, we said when we were leaving TCI, they mm -hmm. said, you know what, if you, you're going to have more problems with your city than you ever had. They, they understood the, <clears> the law. And so did BCM. So does Brett Parnes, you know, who's mm -hmm. assistant chair to the ACLU. But the city council and the city attorney don't care. I mean, they, they have become the censors for public access in no one in this community will stand up. I mean, you it's know, amazing. Yeah, I mean, it's just totally amazing. I mean, the whole reason a lot of media activists got involved was because of big media self-censoring itself from doing what's really right for the public. Amazing. And then here we go with public access, and it's the city council self-censoring something that, that shouldn't be censored at all. Uh, it, it, yeah, I, you know, it, it, it's that. Um, it, I mean, it's a whole kind of nature that's going on in government from the bush administration to supposedly yeah. liberal boulder jan tell us exactly why they banned you well oh, dude. Uh, i mean it started with um uh, they started cutting funding and they were going to cut the funding and i started going off i started emailing the city and i started talking about them on public access television, which, you know, probably was a mistake politically on my part, but, but you That's know... That's what public as as access is for. Exactly. Well, yeah. right. I, I really didn't pay too much attention to the city of Boulder mm -hmm. up until, you know, 2003. I mean, they just, they were a non-issue for me, and I rarely discussed city politics. I mean, I, I talked mm -hmm. more about... To, anything and everything but not them because they were boring well here's, yeah. the, here's the big myth that, that, that the city council of, of Boulder promoted was that this is your tax dollars paying for public access and it's really not true I mean what it is is Comcast cable dollars that are paying for public access they aren't really coming out of tax dollars from, from the average Joe citizen and, uh, absolutely I mean it's, that's, abs that's absolutely true and, but you can't you know you can't get people to to see that here, I mean, uh, yeah. um, the city council was new, and they thought, well, this is our responsibility. We want to have a kind of programming in the community that that's going to be good for the community. I mean, it's basic fascism. Something's happened to the water supply here. I swear. Yeah. I, wow. they, they put they put like right. methadrine in the water. So, so supply. now you got a situation it's in Boulder where Boulder still has the uh, franchise with Comcast. Uh, Comcast is still forwarding the city hundreds of thousands of dollars of. A, a month or a year i don't know what the the number you might know jim um and then the 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 boulder city council is taking all that money and putting it in their government channel not giving anything to public access they take in 1.4 million dollars a year right. um 
And this uh, is and this is money for public access and for the, the public energy, the PEG, the PEG, the the public yep. access, government well, access. Yeah. And, it, it used access. to be 2.5%, then it went up to 5%. An additional 2.5% was supposed to go to public access, about 400 right. a year. Right. And now they give 140000 to educational access, but which is censored television put on by Tony Perry and Sean McGrath. And oh. you know what? Not oh, Sean, all you know, of Sean censored, Mc... yeah, yeah. The, the, well, well, the government and, access, of course, is sure. censored, and so is yeah. education. Well, cool. I hope you guys dug the show out there. And uh, thanks again to Peter Stewart all for right. coming in. Thanks for having me. It was fun. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Check out uh, CCTV.